Hello and welcome. My name is Sophia and this is the first episode of the Live Cardiff mini podcast series where I take you on a tour of the best and most interesting restaurants in Cardiff. I thought it'd be great to start things off with a few friends. So this week I'm joined by Priyanka, Andrea and Peter. They have their own podcast called Dig In where they talk all things about food. Hi guys, it's great to have you here. Can you briefly introduce yourself? Thank you for having us, Sofia. Um, I'm Andrea. I'm uh, an Italian student of journalism, magazine journalism at Cardiff Uni. Um, I moved here three years ago and I love Cardiff and love talking about food. <laughs> Hi, I'm Priyanka. Um, I'm 27 and I'm from Bristol. Um, and I'm like Andrea, I'm doing my uh, master's in magazine journalism. And yeah, I also really just love talking about food, hence the podcast. And I'm Pete, so I'm 27 as well. I'm from Birmingham and guess what? I'm also doing magazine journalism <laughs> at Cardiff <laughs> University. Um, I was once, um, some moons ago, a chef, um, but I still love food. And now I'm a, an aspiring food writer. So thanks mm-hmm. for having me. Okay, great. So today we're talking about a restaurant that just opened in September in the Victoria Park area. Mm-hmm. And, th- and this restaurant is Nuke. Within barely a few weeks from opening, it was named by Wales Online as one of the best 50 restaurants to eat in Cardiff in 2019, which I think is really impressive. Yeah. I really like the name Nuke because it really gives you the idea of a really cozy place where you can kind of curl up with a book on a cold winter night and a glass of wine. And yeah, so I think it's a very interesting place, but you were saying Priyanka earlier that it might, <laughs> it, it's quite an interesting name because it might give another idea. Yeah, well, you, you can't book at the restaurant, that's right. Yeah. So for me, I thought they'd taken the, the words no and book and put <laughs> nook together. No. So no book. That makes sense. And Pete agreed yeah. with me, so I thought yeah. I was onto something. But because they don't have a website, mm. we couldn't fact check it, although we probably <laughs> could have done, according to you, Sphere, on the, uh, yeah. on the Facebook. Because like, what, what I learned from their Facebook page, because they have, so basically they have a cover image which is the diction definition of nuke. Yeah, okay, oh, we're wrong. Right. I'm wrong. <laughs> well, I was going to ask about that. What does nuke mean? Yeah. The food editor might not be very happy. I might have to go <laughs> fact check that. What is a nook? A cosy little corner, right? Yeah. 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 That's nice. So I think that the menu is equally interesting. And since you guys are the food experts, I kind of want to <laughs> let it mm. to you. And yeah, so let's talk about the menu. Okay, so I went there weeks ago and I wrote a review on it a mm. review on it sorry um, last week and it's like small tapas mm, kind of thing that. but not I think they don't call it tapas because that gives you like overwhelming Spanish. like Spanish yeah feel. An expectation for yeah. Spanish food yeah so they call it small plates mm. um, which has the kind of sometimes places that call themselves small plates can be quite pretentious mm. mm-hmm. so True. it looks not very pretentious at all actually I, okay. I thought it was quite um, down to earth in there mm-hmm. yeah. and I'd kind of got the feel from being there that it was like inspired by different continents of Europe mm-hmm. Yeah. And so they had like a tagliatelle, mm-hmm. they had a cassoulet which is a French kind of rustic dish mm-hmm. they had some kind of like British themed dishes with like just really British flavours like pork and like onion sauce, I think it's like por- uh, pig's cheeks mm-hmm. and like onion sauce on a bed of mashed potatoes. You can't get any more British than that. Yeah. With like an onion sauce on top and apples. So yeah, they had like a really wide range of um, of cuisines. Mm. Okay. It was really interesting. So are the ingredients that they use Welsh ingredients or? I think so. I think they're, s- they're sourced yeah. from the local yeah, area. Yeah, I think they're, they? they're locally sourced. Yeah. Oh, that's quite, quite interesting and quite good. Because mm. yeah. I love like when people take international food and they bring into a country and they make it with their own ingredients mm. that's quite nice. i like when people make tagliatella with with welsh ingredients it's brilliant I yeah think. so yeah. the the ingredients were really really good yeah so uh, the the meat they had was really high quality mm-hmm. um my favorite dish was cauliflower Oh, so right. vegetarian. Vegetarian. Oh, nice. This is what <laughs> I wrote this in my um in my my upcoming review mm-hmm. coming out on on, on Quench in January I think, mm-hmm. um and cauliflower is like something that pleases everyone mm-hmm. whether you're vegetarian yeah. or you eat meat 
you'll like crispy cauliflower. Um, steak, a cauliflower steak. No, it, it was like you know, like Sam, um, Sam from the Lazy Leak yeah. when yeah. he told us about his cauliflower recipe. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like that. So it's like like fried, mm-hmm. deep fried cauliflower, like battered cauliflower. Mm-hmm. My God, nice. it was amazing. They like the batter was really like nutty and light, and it crunched, mm. and then they just like dissolved, oh. and it just like just destroyed itself. Like <laughs> <laughs> the cauliflower just sort of like melted in the mouth. Okay, yeah. got it. It was really really good. <laughs> and desserts. Okay, dessert I didn't like. Oh, oh no. it tasted nice. I don't think it had gone quite as well as it was supposed to. Okay. Oh. So like it was a coffee mousse oh. with um. I love coffee. Yeah, like yeah. it tasted exactly. amazing, and it had like, um, like sort of nuts and praline mm. sprinkled over oh, it, nice. um, and it looked really cool, mm. and it it tasted okay, but like the mousse had just turned into like a kind of gunge. Yeah, oh. the thing in my experience, the thing with uh, mousse is that either you do it really well and you get it right or it can go horribly wrong <laughs> so yeah i think it's kind of a, like a simple mm. kind of pudding but it's also really difficult to get right yeah yes. yeah i think it has to be really you have to make sure you chill it and set it properly okay. and if they were like if it had been left out too long just a few minutes too long or like um it hadn't quite been in long enough or they're in a rush i think that's why it kind of hadn't set properly yeah, yeah and like shame. yeah i might have been imagining it but i swear i saw like the chef look over me as it got oh, served no. like look over to me as it got served it's an open kitchen oh. as i was sort of like picking it up and like dropping it off oh. my fork <laughs> so did they know you were reviewing it i don't know but okay. sometimes it's quite hard to disguise it because you take pictures yeah mm, but you yeah. have to take more than you would normally take if you mm. were just uh, of course, yeah. Someone yeah. doing it for Instagram or a blog, it will just take one or two. You have, to, especially in that place, you're eating like nine or ten things, so you have to take a picture of all of them. So yeah. Okay. Um, and then what about prices? Because obviously you're getting a lot of plates. What, what's it? What's it like? I'd say it's it's not cheap. Okay. Right. So they do something called raw or natural wine, Mm -hmm. which is basically wine that's got like low food miles, no pesticides, just really like clean Mm. in, you know, inverted commas, wine. So where where is it produced? I think mainly France. The ones that we were drinking were were French. Um, It was Beaujolais day as well. So we had to have some Beaujolais. Mm. Um, And because we drank several glasses of wine each (laughs) and we each had at least three plates we shared all the plates yeah. but we each had at least three yeah of our own and the meat ones so the pig sheets were like 12 quid wow so okay. we each spent over 30 quid mm. Mm. It's not okay. i think i spent 33 okay mm. so including tip so probably about 30 pound each okay. for the full so whammy if you're there with three people right. yeah not okay. cheap and not expensive mm. and the food is refined mm. yeah like it's got a very clear aim and it follows it through really well and the ingredients are really good i mean it sounds like a little treat that you Experience. would do yeah yeah i would say so it's, it's not it's not yeah. a date yeah i yeah. really honestly i really like the idea of mm. small plates because I, I uh i also looked at kind of other people's comments online mm. and i noticed that the, the thing that they love love the most is the fact that it's small plates and you can kind of really choose what you want to eat yeah. yeah and also i was thinking i'm not someone who eats a lot so um in the majority of cardiac restaurants i always tend to leave something behind on my plate which i really do not like because i do not like to waste food mm. but at the same time i literally no longer have a space in my body for all <laughs> that food of course um and so i think it's a really nice idea because if you want to go there and eat something but you're not really hungry but at the same time what you eat you want to enjoy and then i think it's a great idea because mm-hmm. you can just get one thing and it's kind of small and kind of i guess satisfactory because the food is very high quality course, yeah, yeah i Definitely don't go and get one thing because you will be <laughs> you will be empty. <laughs> they are they are small. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I know what you mean. Mm. It's kind of like modular, so you can kind yeah. of like have a bit here, a bit there. Yeah, mm. exactly. Yeah, it's really um, good. So would you say like about three dishes? Is yeah, I think so. I yeah. think between us we had, I think we had nine or ten. So I think one of us might have had four, mm. but I didn't write about all of them. Because I had quite a lot of their mm. wine, 
<laughs> and I got some notes and also a workout. But I think I tried everyone. So I think I've had I've experienced most of their menu. But like I mainly focused on like yeah. the cassoulet. I had beans like a, it's got like a bean stew, so that kind of fills you up. Okay, yeah. Um, and the pig sheets with the mash. So yeah. like I I would have got away with three. I'd say mm. three is enough. And do all the dishes like come out together, or do you have one and then they clear that away? Ah, and have a second this one? is the thing. I wasn't quite sure mm. because with tapas, right? Mm. And normally in these kind of places, they'll give you a kind of like it will come when it's ready. Yeah, so it depends. Don't ask. Yeah. And you're like, oh, okay. Um, but they. And I would prefer that because as soon as they're cooked, they come out and you share a bit. Mm. Um, they came, they all came out yeah. together for oh. us. It's a bit intense for me. I like to have a little yeah. break in between them, like have tr- enjoy one yeah, and then yeah, move on yeah. to the next one. I think it's quite nice. Uh, that would be good, mm. but also, if you've got ten things in front of you, firstly, some of them have had to wait around mm. on the pass. Yeah. So we and found one cold. thing was cold, but yeah. I think it might have been aimed to be cold. Okay, it was a. a better and beetroot salad i don't know it was nice cold anyway yeah. okay and then the other ones the, while they're waiting around to be eaten on your table then they might go a bit cold yeah so yeah that was i'd say i probably would have preferred it if it had just come one when time. they're ready one time yeah i think it's a really exciting place and it shows because it kind of stood out in an area like victoria park yeah. where you already have a lot of foodie mm-hmm. kind of things such as I think one that I can think of is Petteru Bakery. Yeah, uh, it's right next to it. It's right next to the Doe Fair as well. Yeah. Uh, and the, there's a burger place next to it as well. There's like three in a row. It's right next to three, like yeah. lots of really mm. good things. So I think that's all for today. And yeah, I would just say whether you're a student, a local or just a tourist, just definitely try Nook because it's a very interesting restaurant. I think it's just unique in Cardiff and it's really worth a try. Thank you guys for coming along. It was really nice to chat. Thank you for having us. Thank you. It's been great. And I will see you next week with another restaurant. Bye. Bye. Bye.